Hi guys, welcome to a new review. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a piece of gear from Countycom, my favorite place to get cool gadgets. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be talking about the little um, keychain LED uh, light, and that is the one in the center of your screen here. This is a SOLED, uh, standing for Special Operations LED, and of course LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Um, this is the Special Operations version because of this uh, clip on the bottom here. And of course I'll go into uh, great detail. Uh, how helpful and uh, versatile this light can be with that clip. Uh, but I do have uh, four separate similar pocket LED lights to compare this to. Uh, later in the video I'll uh, cut film and of course I'll give you a little demo uh, outside at night uh, to give you an idea of the kind of light that this is going to give you. Uh, but first, real quick, let me just go through these. The little no-name keychain LED 5mm uh, version which is the same as your, um, your SOLED same thing here. Um, this one's a little bit different than the average uh, body, you know, as far as uh, body shape, a little bulkier. Uh, but again, that same common 5mm LED. And then this one is a 10mm LED, uh, which is basically the same design as this, just uh, double the size, literally. <laughs> and believe it or not, this actually doesn't put, up, put out uh, as much light as this. Uh, it just throws it a little bit further. Uh, but anyway, You'll notice that all these keychain lights basically have uh, a butt end that has an attachment point for a lanyard or a key ring of some kind. So, of course, you could throw this on your keys if you wanted to. Uh, same with this. There's a little more elaborate key ring here. Um, same deal with this one and with this one. You'll notice that the SOLED has a swiveling attachment point if you do want to put this on your keys. Okay, so in that, uh, in that respect, it's the same as the rest of these. You can put this on your keychain if you wish. However, what separates the SOLED um, from the rest of these lights is the fact that it does have a, uh, an all-metal clip. And this is just not a regular pocket clip. Um, this is actually a swiveling clip. And of course it has the eight uh, different you know, spots where it kind of clicks in. But you can position this anywhere 360 degrees all the way around the clip. This makes this extremely versatile. Um, we put these other lights aside, and again, after when you know the video is all over and my review is done, I'll cut uh, film and I'll edit in uh, nighttime. You know, in, in comparison between these lights at night. But the first thing I want to show you is let me move this bag here. I have my little pants demo pants pocket that I use for my knife reviews, and I put on uh, one of my belts on here. Um, I wanted to show you that this clip actually works very well on your standard belt. Uh, all you gotta do actually turn this so that I have a little better grip on the uh, on the back here to open the, the uh, clip and just clip it right in your belt. It clips right on. Uh, what's really cool about this, uh, I kind of talked about this in my uh, holster, flashlight holster review, is that you can actually swivel this to any position you want and if you put this on the side of your body over here you can actually uh, point this downwards and light your path as you're walking. So very convenient, very cool, and uh, I've actually been carrying this uh, in this position to the side like this um, as an EDC, uh, another piece of gear. So I always have a light on me uh, because usually I'll have a flashlight in a bag of some kind with me, but I don't really carry a light on me uh, so much. I do have that Nightcore D10 flashlight. Uh, sometimes I'll keep that in a cargo pants pocket, uh, but for the most part, um, I don't have one on my person. So this is extremely, extremely light. Um, I throw it on my belt. I really, to be honest, sometimes I totally forget I even have it until I go to take my belt off and realize that it's not pulling through the loop. And then I'll go, oh yeah, I got my light on there. Um, so it's a really, really good piece of gear in that uh, respect is that you can pop it on your belt, totally forget about it, but you won't be without a light. I'm going to move my, uh, my little mock pants pocket here <laughs> and bring in a hat. Uh, what's really cool about this clip, too, is that for a hat... And yeah, that's a microholics.org uh, uh, hat. Uh, I'll have some more information on this in a different video. But anyway, I just want to show you that this is, makes a great hands-free hat light. Okay, a lot of people are uh, are always looking for a good headlight, you know, a headlamp. This is fantastic. I mean, really, really convenient. Clips to your hat. As you see here, uh, you can swivel it any way you want, of course. Um, if you want to clip it on, because it's more convenient, you can grab that little the butt end there. And then once it's on, just swivel it around. It's perfect. Hands-free operation, of course, wherever you're going to point your head is wherever that light's going to be. And, of course, to turn this light on, uh, unlike these lights, there's another way to compare these two, is that these lights have, when you push the center, they have momentary on. Okay, and to keep them on, they have a little tab here that you have to kind of click in place. And this one, of 
course, like the other common ones, it's not really, it's not functioning properly. It won't really clip in, oh, there we go. Kind of difficult to clip that down for a constant on. Uh, if you don't use that little clip there, obviously you just have to push and hold, and when you let go, it shuts off. Same thing for a lot of these, uh, a lot of these cheaper um, lights. And this one, actually, the battery is dying on it. But as you can see there, push and hold when you let go. Um, same deal, you got to kind of pull that down real, real far with your fingernail, it clicks in place for a constant on. Uh, what's really cool about the, uh, the SO LEDs is that um, you just have a simple switch. Very, very simple. Just switch it forward for on, as you can see here. Nice, bright 5mm uh, LED. Um, and then flick it off. If you want constant on, you just. <laughs> there's no real. Con there's no. Or excuse me, uh, temporary on. Or momentary on, I should say. Um, there is not a momentary on um, option here, but I don't really see a, a problem there because when you want it on, you flick it on. <laughs> when you want it off, you shut it off. It's that simple. Um, but really, another option here, throwing on your hat like this. Uh, I've actually used this twice now, putting up uh, Christmas lights. I know it's a little early, but I try to put them up before it gets too snowy and, and cold. And, um, uh, you know, it started getting dark on me, and I want to put, you know, the icicle lights, uh, and I want to use those little clips. And, I, you know, I, this, this was on my belt at the time, and it was getting dark, and I couldn't really see what I was doing. I popped it right off my belt, and I clipped it right to my hat, uh, which I usually wear when I'm out outdoors. Um, and it was perfect. It gave me hands-free lighting. I just looked exactly where I needed a light, and I had it. It was perfect. So that's another option. Again, saying this aside from other, you know, pocket LED lights. Uh, the last thing I want to show you here is uh, this is actually uh, an EOD bag, EOD Robotics. Um, now, actually, you know what? This is a uh, Maritac uh, brand bag, but um, this is for uh, it's an EOD bag, uh, explosive ordnance disposal. Uh, you can also get these at County Com. I can kind of my camera up here. Uh, I actually use this kind of temporarily as a range bag uh, for when I go shooting. But uh, as like most pieces of military gear or you know any kind of outdoor gear now, they have these uh, molly webbing on it. Okay, and this is actually really good for a lot of different you know a lot of different attachment points. Uh, I have just a simple uh, sheath on here which I use sometimes for a flashlight. But what's cool is that these were actually designed and the clip is perfect uh, fitting for this molly gear. As you see here. Pop this right on, right onto the back. Slip, open the clip, slip it to the back, and it is uh, a perfect fit. I mean, it just the claw grips right over the edge of the webbing, and it's just it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's just really, really solid. You could store them anywhere you want. Of course, swivel it if you wanted to, um, and you have uh, you know another an extra light on your gear. And of course, you can attach this attach this at any point all over the gear if you want to. You can put it sideways on the strap. Um, again, towards the bottom here. And they just, it's perfect. Perfect for all your Molly attachments. Uh, what I also found out was pretty cool is that if you want to, on the handle, just attach it to that handle there. Okay, so that when you're actually, let me turn my camera up a little bit. When you're actually, um, you know, carrying your bag, you can flick that on so you have a flashlight in front of you, wherever you're walking. So, again, another option. And it's great to have options. So this, uh, these SOLEDs, um, just fantastic. Uh, by far, my favorite. Move that bag out of the way. Uh, definitely my favorite uh, small keychain LED. And as you can see, compared to these other these other LED lights, I mean these are great. They're relatively cheap. Um, they're going to be a little bit cheaper than your your SOLED. I mean this is two dollars. Sometimes you'll get these for like a dollar a piece. Um, maybe even cheaper if you buy them in bulk. But uh, they just do not have the versatility as the SOLEDs. I mean, they're just uh, hands down the SOLEDs. Uh, it can do a lot more. And even I saw uh, Countycom has a video on this, uh, on this light. And what they do is they actually have, uh, as a demonstration, is they, they've been throwing these on their watch. Just gives you even another option. Fits perfectly on a watch band. Of course, again, you have uh, hands-free lighting. So you can do whatever you have to do with your hands, and you have it right in your watch. So again, I mean, just so versatile. So many options here. Carrying options, um, different ways to store it. Just fantastic. Love these things, and for only two dollars a piece, they're definitely worth it. Uh, I picked up a whole bunch of them, and this one has uh, already has some use on it. You can see kind of a smudge mark there. Um, I, I just I use it all the time now. I don't leave the house without it because uh, it's it's just good to have a light on you. You never know when you're going to be caught in the dark and you need a little extra visibility. 
So these are fantastic, very easy to operate. Uh, if the battery dies on you, you can just pop the case off and replace it. You got another standard um, battery for these. They all take about the same thing. I think it's a 2016 uh, lithium battery. Um, they all take the same, basically the same battery. Very easy to operate. And again, you do have a lanyard uh, attachment point here if you do want to throw a key ring on it. You know, to put on your keys, that'd be totally fine too. So, fantastic lights. Um, I love them. Now, this is in an ACU gray. This is the newest version of this light. Uh, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't really want a gray one. Uh, they, uh, you go to countycom.com and check them out because they do have other versions of this light. They have one in an international orange, which would be great. I mean, obviously, if you drop it, you're not going to lose it. <laughs> you don't even need a flashlight to find that. I mean, the uh, international orange is bright. Uh, they also have a standard black one. They have ones with a couple different color LEDs. You might want a red LED in there. Um, this one just happens to be the standard white. But it puts out enough light for most tasks. It's extremely small, and as you saw, extremely versatile with that clip. Uh, it's a really, really fantastic light. Uh, if you're wondering, ACU gray is the military gray. Um, it matches, of course, ACU camouflage uh, and regular ACU gear. Um, so this was actually a special run of these. Uh, if you're interested in the ACU Gray specifically, I would jump on them while you can. I don't know. I think there's a limited uh, qu uh, quantity on these. Um, but, of course, it's the full ACU, the activation button as well as the light itself. Um, some of the other lights, I believe, have different color combinations. So, again, just check out the website for the different options on it. Uh, it's www.countycomm.com. These are only two bucks. So, awesome. Now I'm going to actually cut film and I'll, I'll give you a little demo on what these, uh, these little babies can do at night. Alright guys, uh, actually I, I normally don't do this. Um, I try to give you all the information I can in a video uh, while it's running, but I do often forget about things. And there's one thing I forgot about uh, to mention that I did want to edit in the video. And that is that if you do use this light um, as a keychain with the little loop here, you can uh, easily remove this. Okay, This clip part is very easily removable. All you do is turn it to the side and you'll see the base is connected by two uh, small Phillips head screws. So you get the appropriate size micro screwdriver and just uh, take out those two screws. Be sure not to lose them. They're very, very small. Pop out the other one. And there's your clip. Okay, there's your rotating uh, uh, clip. So now you have uh, an even smaller, very thin profile light uh, that you can pop on your keychain. Okay, just like the other ones. Uh, I know maybe you guys were thinking, well, it'd be too bulky uh, on your keys like this. And I would agree. This is a little bulky. I would definitely prefer the other cheap lights uh, over this. But the fact that, yeah, in about three seconds, with the right screwdriver, uh, you can pop that off and it's just as, uh, as slim profiled as the other ones. Again, <laughs> just puts it right over the top. Uh, so yes, that's very easily um, removable. In fact, you do have to take that off in order to access your um, four screws, your body screws, in order to get to the battery compartment uh, when replacing the battery. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to edit that, edit that in and uh, show you that to uh, make sure you guys knew that. So now <laughs> I will uh, finally cut to the uh, nighttime demonstration. Hey guys. All right. Well, now I'm outside. I'm going to do a quick little comparison uh, video for you uh, using those different keychain lights. Uh, the first light up is going to be that kind of awkward shaped uh, clear one. Now I tried this on the lawn and you really can't see much. Uh, so I wanted to get by an object and I actually have a bicycle I'm about to throw out. Um, but it's in my backyard and right now I'm standing probably, I don't know, maybe six or seven feet from it. So I'm going to use that as a you know an object for you to actually look at. Uh, here's the first light. Now it's real unfortunate because the human eye obviously picks up a lot more light than my digital camera and I'm flashing this directly on the uh, on the bicycle but I can, I'm looking at the screen right now and I can't really see anything at all. Uh, it, right in front of me it, it lights up the bike, uh, bike very very dim but I can still see it. Uh, anyway let's just try let's try another one. Uh, the next light I'm going to try is that small black keychain light. It certainly does a better job of it. Now you can actually see the bike. Uh, in front of me, I got 
God, I got, I got a lot of light. Um, it's kind of dim, but I can see the whole area. Probably a good 15 foot uh, area around here. But at least you guys can now pick up on the actual object. There's the, the bike in front of a kind of an old table. Uh, this, is our, this is our junk pile. This is actually going to the, uh, the dump tomorrow. But anyway, there you go. There's a small black one. Uh, now let's try the that large black one. Now, unfortunately, this one uh, is barely coming out on the camera as well. Uh, this actually throws farther. It's a smaller circle, but it, it throws farther down. I mean, I can see the tree way in the background here, but it's not picking up anything on the bike at all. Um, you know, unfortunately, you guys really can't really see that. Uh, let's see. The next one here is going to be that uh, small clear one, which is the same design as the uh, black one. And again, it's right on the bike. It's it's very, very dim in front of me. And of course, you guys, you can't pick up a thing. And then finally, let's try the Soled. Simple switch on, and there you have it. You can clearly see the bike. It's actually the brightest of all these. So not only do you have uh, great versatility with that clip, but as you can see, you actually have the most light out of all the whole group. Now, I would say it's probably close with the small black one. Let me switch back to the black one real quick. Or let me get both of them in my hand together. and show you a direct comparison here. Here's the black one. Switch off. Here's the Soled. So, black one. Soled. Now, I could probably see a direct comparison here. The black one is just a touch brighter than the Soled. But they are very close. I'd say the black one's... Maybe, yeah, doing a quick little switch here. It's just a, it's a tiny, tiny bit brighter. Uh, however, the Soled has a wider spill. Uh, in other words, right in front of me, I can see a much wider circle than when I use the little black one. But anyway, I want to give you guys a comparison here. And hopefully, you got some idea. Uh, like I said, the camera's not going to pick up anywhere near what I can physically see right now. Which is a shame, because I wish I could show you in person, because it's a big difference. Uh, for the most part, you saw a whole bunch of black in this video. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you that the, uh, the Soled is uh, definitely up there. It's, uh, it's very close, like, again, to the small black one. But um, it's, it's just as good, if not better, because it has more spill and more light out the side. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me here in the, my little nighttime comparison. I appreciate you watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.